This is a Raspberry Pi, and today it's gonna help us mine some cryptocurrency. <laughs> All right, this part is going to be pretty technical. So if you're interested only in setting up the machine and start mining right away, I have a timestamp down below. But if you still decide that you want to learn more about crypto, let me explain. <sighs> okay, let's first talk about something we're much more familiar, a normal digital transaction with US dollars. Let's say you go online onto Amazon, you buy an item for $25. What happens behind the scene is that your bank and the seller's bank are communicating, creating about two points of data, confirming and validating the transaction. This is a single point of trust. And throughout history, it has been proven that banks are not always to be trusted. Now, with that in mind, what cryptocurrency brings to the table is a much more reliable way of verifying and storing transaction data. Instead of just having two banks storing the transactional data, you have every single person, every single miner storing their own copy of all transactions ever made on a single cryptocurrency. For example, as of right now, there are about a million miners for Bitcoin. That is a million transactional data points. Each of these are called a block. When you have a lot of them from a lot of miners, that's what's called a blockchain. Whenever a transaction is made between two or multiple people in the blockchain, and in theory, this is much more secured accordingly. With the act of mining the cryptocurrency, what you're trying to do is to solve a puzzle that will allow you to contribute to the blockchain itself and in turn get rewarded with a certain number of cryptocurrencies. For example, for Bitcoin, I believe it's about 1.3 Bitcoins per puzzle solved. Okay, so what kind of cryptocurrency are we mining today? The three most popular options are Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Monero. For Bitcoin and Ethereum, you're competing against very, very expensive and powerful machines designed specifically for mining cryptocurrency. The math is not in your favor. Instead, we're mining Monero. Why, you may ask? Monero is actually made in a way that allows much less powerful machines to have a much better chance against more powerful machines. This is actually a mechanism built into Monero, allowing much more freedom and a much more decentralized version of cryptocurrency. With that in mind, let's begin mining some Monero. Secondly, open a browser, go onto raspberrypi.com, go to software, and here you download the Raspberry Pi Imager app for your Windows machine. Go ahead and install it. It's a quick and simple install. Pick the right operating system. We will be choosing the 64-bit version of a Raspberry Pi OS Lite. Choose the right storage. Press the gear icon down here. This is a secret menu. You type in your desired hostname and password. I just put my name here for simplicity. You can choose any hostname and password you want. Also put in your Wi-Fi password and name. This will allow you to control your Raspberry Pi remotely. Press save and write. Yes. This is going to take a while, so sit back, relax, have some tea. <sighs> hey, it's the next day. We will be continuing on mining some more Monero today. So since yesterday, we have flashed an operating system onto a USB stick. Next step is to plug in your USB onto the Raspberry Pi and then plug your Pi in. Look at that fan going. Now your Pi is booting up and connecting to your Wi-Fi. Just let it sit for a few minutes and then you can have access to your network. Now let's switch over to the laptop. First. 
To control the Raspberry Pi remotely, we need a software called Putty. So go over to Putty, download it. Download it. Let's go ahead and run it. Here you use your host name and password that you have set for yourself. Just hit accept. The login is the same as your host name and password is your password. It will not show up on the terminal here, but it is being typed in. This is for extra security. And just like that, we're in. Here we're going to be running a couple of commands to update the Raspberry Pi. Go into sudo app update. Let's type in sudo app upgrade. This will upgrade all of your software. Press Y and enter. It's gonna take a while. Next up, this is the fun part. Let's install some software that will let us mine some Monero. I will have all of the commands down in the description for you to copy and paste. It's a good day when it's run. This should be a lot faster. Now we will be cloning some Git repositories. It's basically downloading somebody else's software into a folder on our desktop. Let's cd xamrig. We are changing directory into that folder that we just downloaded. Let's make a new folder inside of it and get inside that folder. Now, this is gonna be a simple but very cool command cmake space dot dot. Okay, now type in make. This is basically a piece of software being compiled from source. It is gonna take a long time, but so I'll sit back, relax. <laughs> ah, it's a good day when you have good tea. So to receive and send cryptocurrency, what you need to do is to create a crypto wallet. Close that down, back to your browser, go to getmonero.org. Here download a wallet. Install it. Pick a folder on your computer. Pick a folder on your PC or laptop. And we wait again. It's good. Open the app. We will be choosing easy mode just for simplicity. Now press on create a new wallet. Pick a name you want. I will choose my real name. This nomadic seed here is very important. Now I probably pronounced it wrong, but keep it safe. This is gonna be your crypto key. Pick a password. Onto account, click on the copy icon. It looks like our Raspberry Pi is finished installing and compiling everything. Here is probably the last command for today. Type in dot slash xmrig. This is running the software we just installed. Dash o golf dot monero ocean stream 
10128 dash u here put in your wallet address which I just copied in putty you can just right click on your mouse space dash p and here put in the desired name for your Raspberry Pi if you have multiple Raspberry Pis running at the same time that would be very helpful here I'll put in Piner you get it Raspberry Pi and Miner Piner and press enter if you press H this will show you how well your Raspberry Pi is doing now my Raspberry Pi has four cores and each of them are hashing about 24 hash per second this number is basically how well your Raspberry Pi is performing how quickly is it trying to guess the answer to the puzzle now let's uh, click on S check result here we are still mining haven't finished the job yet so there's no result to see and if you press C you can see your connection right now okay let me wait and I'll get back to you guys when I've finished with mining okay it's only been about like 10 minutes and look at the screen look at that like come on so let me tell you what happened there so you can see the accepted there that means we have accepted and successfully mined sometimes you might get a rejection because your computer is just too weak but it rarely rarely ever happens anyway this shows that out of you know how many shares this group has this pool has we have accepted successfully done some job and get 22 shares how's it going thank you for following along with me to the end do let me know in the comment section down below how much you have made so far normally it takes about 20 minutes for a successful mine to translate into money in your account but it is counting I've also put some really good tutorials down below in the description as references with that in mind good night have a good time ahead of you